In this series of optional videos, we're going to lay out the user interface for a fully functioning application that's actually a little useful. Um, so this week we're going to do the user interface and then next week we're going to store our data in encrypted format um, so that uh, it's protected. And that's going to be important because the program we're going to design and implement is going to be a password manager. So if you're like me, you have a lot of different passwords and a lot of different accounts, and it's really hard to keep track of all of them. And the temptation is to use the same password on different accounts because otherwise it's really hard to remember them all. But that presents some real security issues because if a hacker gets access to one of your accounts on one machine, then they can use that password to gain access to other accounts. So what you really want to do is have a unique, strong password for each account that you own, which is a different password from every other account that you own. But then keeping track of them becomes a problem. So what this manager is going to do is give you one interface where you can log in and then access your account names and passwords for all of your separate accounts. So what I've done in this document is to just lay out some screens of what I think the application is going to look like. And I'm going to use this as a basis for designing and implementing my user interface. So when the user starts up the app, it's going to show them a two-panel version if on a large screen. I'll do something different for a small screen, but basically there's just going to be a login button and a welcome message. Um, and then if they click on the login button, it'll ask them to just enter their password. Um, there'll be a cancel and submit button. If they cancel, it'll return them back to the welcome page. If they click submit, then either they will be logged in and will have access to their accounts in a list view, or there'll be a sorry, please try again with the login button. Um, if they're logged in, there's going to be an action button in the action bar, which will allow them to create a new account. And then they can scroll that list up or down. If they click on the plus button, they'll get an add account fragment where they can enter their account name and their password. They can cancel, which will return them back to the login page or possibly the welcome fragment inside of the logged in page. And if they submit, then it will add their new account information to the list and display the account information. So if they scroll the list and touch any of their accounts, they'll see the name and password. And there will also be an action button that will let them delete this account from the list. And then if they click on the delete button, rather than just deleting the current account, will pop up a confirmation dialog that will ask, uh, ask the user if they're sure that they want to delete. And uh, so that's going to be all the user interface. Now, I've put um, red dotted boxes around each fragment. So we have basically this login button fragment. We have a welcome fragment. We have a login fragment, an account list fragment, congratulations, sorry, add account fragment, and account view fragment. And then we have a separate activity for our are you, want, are you sure you want to delete dialog. So that's an overview of the user interface. I'm assuming that you already know how to manipulate fragments from watching the previous tutorial. And in the next video, I'll start actually implementing this design.